Okay, so I've got to unload the car real quick and then I've got to go to closing. So let's get the car unloaded and then we'll go to closing. Car unloaded. Now it's time to go to closing. Let's uh, get to closing. Um, I'm gonna hook you up to the car, and then I'll be back. All right. I gotta run my mileage, and I'll be back. Okay. Update on today's events so far. Uh, we got a three o'clock closing down at Northwest. Lassen. Oh, I I gotta check my tire pressure real quick. Hold, hold on a second. Dang it. Okay. Sorry about that. Last night, um, uh, I drove off 105. And I wanted to make sure I didn't have any, I wasn't running on any flat tires. So, uh, busy, busy morning. Got the new video uploaded on uh, when the agent told me that they couldn't get the door to open. So, I hope you guys enjoyed that today. And i uh, been negotiating, talking with a couple different buyers on a property that I have out in Chandler. That's great getting some interest on that property. Super thankful for that. God's really blessing us on that one. Um, turned in two TRRs that I was talking about yesterday. Worked on those last night. Got them over to the customers. The customers kicked them back to me. I got them turned in today. I've got Tracy following up on an offer that we wrote for one of our customers last night. They're kicking around where they want to be at. And we're waiting on a seller counter. And we've, we've, we've got them uh, kicking around where they want to be at if the seller counters. Does that make sense? Okay. And um, did the Facebook ads, did the Craigslist ads, just uh, your normal daily workflow, really productive day. Uh, at the beginning of the day, um, it was a long night for the missus, so we gave her a little break this morning. But I wish I could have given her a longer break, it was only like an hour and a half. But um, there's so much work going on right now, I was only able to give her an hour and a half break. But uh, she's amazing. She's amazing. As I was leaving the house, she would made the kids a big plate of nachos. They were all just sitting there ready to eat it. It was, it was awesome. It was just su super awesome. So blessed to be able to work from home and get to spend as much time with my family as I do. It is hot today, guys. 91 degrees. After we get done with the closing, we're going to go put a sign out at Jones on the new listing that we've got, we've received. We're going to check in with our listing for tomorrow's photo shoot. Scheduled a photo shoot on a pool house yesterday. Can't wait to do a video with you guys there at that house. And then at the Jones house, you'll be able to do a walkthrough on it with me. So, guys, thanks for sticking around. Thanks for watching the channel. Big thumbs up. Share with all your friends. Have real estate questions. Put them down below. I am here to help out. I just want to give you all the knowledge that I have because like Ricky Cruz says, business is infinite. And 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 he's telling the truth. Like I've even learned this over my uh, career. Like I tell everyone everything I do to get business and they never do it. I've only had like maybe 10% of the people do it. Oh, I had a green arrow. Why was I waiting there? I'm so glad no one was behind me. That was a green arrow. God, I'm so glad no one was behind me because then I would have felt like a jerk. So, all right, guys, get on the highway. See you guys at the next appointment. I may uh, turn you on at the title company or, oh, I may spin you around and do a um, time lapse to the title company. That's what I'll do. See you guys at the title company. Have a good one. Bye.
Okay, um, we're at the title company. I've got 15 minutes. I'm gonna do some research and try to get a price reduction on one of my listings real quick. Uh, we've had quite a bit of showings, only one offer. So I need to just discuss with that seller a price reduction. This particular seller, they're not in any hurry to sell the home. The only cost that they have. I'll be right there, sir. I'm sorry. I'm, I'll be right there. My customer's already here, so I've got to. Uh, I'm going to go on in. I'll call the seller afterwards. Okay. Um, got that house closed. Super thankful for their business. Um, that couple knows a lot of agents in the area that they ended up selling their house in, um, but they called uh, me, blessed me with their business, and I'm just super thankful for them. Uh, amazing couple, amazing couple, amazing customer, just so happy to help them have a successful closing. Uh, what we were talking about earlier is I need to put together uh, some discussion points with the seller for the price reduction. Um, now that seller has carrying cost that they are having uh, to bear, but um, but the only carrying cost is, you know, it, it's not a mortgage. It's just um, HOA dues, real estate taxes, and utilities. So they probably have four hundred dollars a month in carrying cost. So I've got to look up how many showings they've had, and then I'm going to give them a call, touch base with them, and see if if we can go ahead and make some price adjustments. So right now I'm just picking, I, I go into the Showing Time app and I look at the listing activity report. Type in the listings uh, first, the house numbers on the listing, I pull that up and then I look at it and I've had 28 showings on that property. So let me just put that down, 28 showings. Fourteen in the last thirty days. And two in the last seven days. Okay, so now I'm gonna pull the average sales price for that zip code real quick from my MLS. They give me um, access to I believe it's called market stats. So I will just pull that zip code's average sales price real quick. That way we can toss back and forth which direction we want to go on pricing. So let me log in right here. And we use Matrix. So I don't know uh, what MLS you guys use, but we use Matrix and Market Stats is a cool feature that is in our Matrix that I could just plug in um, in the last year and then I can go by zip code and the median sales price for the month of May was 223 for the month of April it was 215 and for March it was 263 and the average is pretty close to that average is 324 average is 270 so uh, 324 619 270 294 824 so average we're on par um, but median price we are not so let's let's just give her a call touch base and see which direction she would like to go a good time or should I call back later no no it's fine oh perfect perfect um I 
followed up with Karen and I followed up with that other agent that said their buyers were really interested but they can't get either of them off the fence a couple weeks ago we talked about a little price adjustment just to try to help pick up some more activity on the home I was gonna see uh -huh. if you might be comfortable with moving forward on that oh I thought you had done that already oh gosh no I thought we were waiting to see if we could get those buyers off the fence I had not made that adjustment yet would you like me to go ahead and do that uh -huh. Well, you know, and I was thinking of uh, <clears throat> sending you and Karen a, a text today to because I thought it hadn't made any difference because we've only had like two showings this week. So I was thinking about, well, maybe I need to reduce the price even more than just a hundred. I, I, I do think that will definitely help get the buyers, uh, get you in a new buyer pool with a larger price reduction the the small price reduction refreshes it with the current buyer pool and tries tries to get them off the fence but because we had the buyer Karen was working with and then the buyer that other agent was working with neither of them wanting to make an offer um, getting to a new buyer pool would uh, theoretically raise the probability of getting a contract on the home most definitely okay so how much do you think we need to reduce it to I believe we're at two eighty seven nine right now. Is that that does that sound right? I I have two eighty seven five. Two eighty seven five. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Two eighty seven five. You're right. So if you felt comfortable doing two seventy nine nine, that will get us into a totally different buyer pool. But if you just want to do like maybe two eighty two five, that would get us below the two eighty five buyer pool. But a lot of those internet searches. They go by five thousand dollar increments. So, if you do two eighty five five or two seventy nine nine, one of those two is going to get you in a different five thousand dollar increment range. How about if we do the two eighty five? Okay, perfect. Two eighty five it is. I will make that adjustment, and then hopefully we'll get some more traffic over this week and get us a contract. Okay, sounds good. Awesome. Thank you so much for taking my phone call. Mm-hmm. Alrighty. Bye. Bye. So I don't bully them on the price changes. I just want some sort of price change. And then as soon as I make this price change with the showing time, I can send a notification out to all the agents that have shown it that we just did a price change. So I'm going to update that to 285 right now. And then I'll send her the authorization paperwork later this evening and get it signed. But um, I've got my phone recorder, so I've also got it recorded. So I've got all that information there and then I'll get it signed later this evening so right now I'm just gonna go into the MLS get that updated to 285 and we'll see what kind of changes that brings about alright we've got that updated and then let me go over to my showing time app <clears throat> and I want to send a notification to all the agents. Perfect. So now we just let all the agents, all 28 agents know that have shown it in the last 185 days that we did a price adjustment on it. And we, the MLS will also send notifications out to all buyers in that price range that that price adjustment just had. So now let's go to my office, drop off the checks, and then we will go to um, uh, Jones um, I'm going to call Paula real quick and see if she wants me to drop off this check at her metro office so that she doesn't have to later and if she says yes uh, that's what we'll do because it's kind of on the way back to the office I'm probably only 7 miles on the way back to the office All right, let's get this adjusted here. Um, you guys remember this house? We uh, we walked it probably a month ago, but we got it listed. We got it going on the market. Now let's go take a look inside. So great little fixer upper. This house probably, this house, I'm gonna say it probably only needs like 
maybe six grand, maybe five grand on exterior work to be where it needs to be. You know, you need to do some trim and things of that nature. You know, it won't go FHA, um, but look, it has brand new windows. Look at these windows. That's awesome. This is definitely a fixer upper style house. So if you know one, know of anyone in the market for a fixer upper style home, have them give me a call, 405-315-7965. I've just got to get us in real quick. I had to get the code. Oh, wow. Opened right up. Guys, this house is awesome. This house is awesome. Just look at the inside of this house. How do I get the lights on? Here we go. So, beautiful home. Great little dinette area right here. Awesome little kitchen. 50-50 sink with the updated faucet. That's a nice faucet. So yeah, great little living area. Looks like the AC set on 78. That's a good temperature. Look at the size of this master. This is a great big master. Wow. Look at this. Look at this half bath right here. That's nice. Little vanity mirror right there. That's nice. I bet this closet's huge. Oh my gosh. Look at the size of this closet. Oh wow. There's so much room in there. That's awesome. Got your HVAC closet right here. That's newer. Look at that. That's a newer HVAC unit. Let me see if I could see what it was put in. There's the model number and the serial number right there. I'm not seeing a date, but that's newer. That's nice. That's real nice looking. Nice little third bedroom right here. Great big closet. Here's another bedroom. Great big. Wow. It's a great little house. Great big bathroom. Look at that. Great faucet. Wow. This is a great little bathroom. Oh man, this thing's gonna sell right away. She's only wanting ninety thousand for this thing. We got it on the market for only ninety thousand dollars. New HVAC, very pretty little house. Just needs about six thousand dollars in exterior work, and of course the little house. Wow, cute little house. All right, guys. Well, I just want to do a walkthrough on it, show you guys so you can take a look at it. Like I said, if you know anyone in the market for a fixer upper in Jones, looking for an investment property or first time home buyer that is. Uh, a first time home buyer that knows how to do fixing up work, tell them about this home. This is a great little home. All right, guys, Josh Bardet, Better Homes Guard Real Estate. I'll see you guys on the next clip.